Soon, NASA plans not only to return a man to the moon but also to create a permanent base there. The setup of this base will be a kind of practice for the future Mars base. All these actions require solving many engineering problems. The most important is to provide the electric power for the colony. Scientists at Sandia National Laboratories, an agency that is part of the U.S. Department of Energy, develop electrical microgrids to distribute power from the mini nuclear reactors on the moon to various residential and other facilities of the future colony. For the future lunar outpost to function properly, the colony will need a steady supply of power. NASA plans that there will be permanent astronauts on the lunar base for at least two months within one mission. However, they will have to live and work there during the 14-day lunar night. It means the solar panels won't be able to power the colony all the time. So now they're working on mini nuclear reactors that will power the colony on the moon when the solar panels will fail or replace them altogether. But the lunar base also needs a mini grid to transmit power and provide a steady supply to all parts of the base. According to NASA's plan, the base on the moon will include two main facilities, an accommodation complex and a fuel extraction and processing complex, which will be located a few kilometers away. Suggested electrical microgrids, which would be responsible for the stable power supply of the lunar base, would be placed in each of these facilities. They would also be connected and this would be similar to the grid used on the ISS, but with some modifications. For now, scientists have not decided whether the power grid will run on direct current or alternating current, which will then be converted to direct current. Scientists are also now working on how to provide the power grid with a constant, unchanging voltage. Scientists note that the microgrid on the lunar base and the ISS, although they have something similar, they still have many differences. For example, it has to do with size, because the base on the moon will be much larger. Also, there will be a lot more electronics on the moon that need to be powered. There are a lot of engineering problems to be solved so that the outpost on the moon will always be supplied with the power to function properly.